Hello everybody, we just got back from an awesome trip to Portland, Maine, where I got a chance to check out the Nikon Z9. Now, since we were in Maine, we had to check out the Good Eats, as well as some of the local sites. When we found out that our friend musician Shwayze was having a concert in the area, we scheduled a photo shoot with him before the concert and he even let us photograph his performance that night. I could not think of a better way to try out the Z9 than to take it out for the day and challenge myself to shoot with it in different lighting scenarios. Now, as you're about to see, the Z9 delivered in every scenario we threw at it and we were able to produce some stunning images. A big part of that is due to its fast and powerful autofocus system with subject detection developed using deep learning technology. Its 45.7 megapixel sensor allows you to shoot high speed still frame rates of up to 120 frames per second. And for all my video shooters, this camera will do 120 frames per second and up to 8K video. The exterior of the camera boasts a plethora of buttons as well as a four axis tilting touchscreen. The large body style feels really good in the hands and even for someone like me that doesn't have very large hands, the grip feels good and if you're into shooting vertically, the side grip with shutter button really comes in handy. The Z9's EN EL18D battery lasts pretty much the whole day and keep in mind I was shooting photos and video throughout the entire day. Okay, so let's go over the gear list and why I chose the lenses to pair with this camera. But whenever someone buys a new camera, I always recommend pairing the camera with a good zoom lens. The 24 to 70 millimeter f 2.8 is always my go-to option and it gives you a great range in the portrait focal lengths. It's also a great walk around lens for photo and video. The second lens I took was the awesome 50 millimeter f 1.2 prime lens. Perfect for our portrait sessions, this lens has a super wide aperture, giving you good low light performance and that creamy bokeh background. Finally, to get up close to the action on stage, I packed the 70 to 200 millimeter f 2.8 telephoto lens. To capture the video samples, I added a Rode Video Micro to the hot shoe of the camera and plugged it into the onboard jack. Our day started off with brunch at the Dolphin Marina and Restaurant where we enjoyed some great local seafood and used a 24 to 70 f 2.8 to get some quick shots of our plates right before all the food was gone. We decided to walk off the food by exploring the scenic views outside of the restaurant. I was satisfied with the way this camera handled the difficult lighting during high noon. After brunch, we checked out the downtown area and came across a local donut shop serving up some delectable sweets. We popped into the local fish market and finished our morning outing with a trip to an iconic lighthouse located in Bug Light Park. Soon after, we met up with Shwayze for a quick photo shoot. I decided to switch to the 50mm f1.2 and I must say I had a lot of fun with these shots and the Z9's autofocus really started to shine. I found myself being able to focus on lighting and composition as the camera did the focusing for me. We walked around and found some interesting backgrounds, one of them being the van Shwayze was touring in. You know I'm gonna put in work, babe, every single day. Ain't no such thing as perfect Till I looked inside your case If you're ever to fall down You know to call now Even if I'm not okay And if you're ever to move on And start in a new song I know I'm still inside your veins What we had was rehab for my brain What we had was the half of the pain They all wanna talk now Then came time to get ready for the concert. 
we got the opportunity to witness Shwayze's sound check, which was great because I had a chance to check out the venue and find the best spots to photograph on stage. It was clear that the best lens option was going to be the 24 to 70 for the pit and on stage, and the 70 to 200 millimeter for back of house and close ups. I was set for the night and couldn't wait for the start of the concert. Once Shwayze hit the stage, the crowds went wild and really fed off his energy on stage. Thanks to the awesome glass and the Z9's fast autofocus, I'd like to think I was able to capture the moment and the energy of the event. Switching from photo to video was a breeze with the dedicated switch, and I liked that the camera kept the shutter speed set individually between modes. One of the things that really came in handy was the image stabilization. I was able to shoot with a slower shutter speed and still get the sharp images I was hoping for. The Z9 does up to 30 frames per second, and this admittedly is a ton of fun when you have a subject like Shwayze bringing some great energy onto the scene. Well, what am I telling you guys this for? Let me show you. So someone take a picture. I had a blast exploring Maine and finishing off the trip with an awesome concert. The Z9 was a blast to shoot with and all three of the lenses I chose performed great. If you want to learn more about the Nikon Z9 or any other cameras Nikon has to offer, come on into one of our Southern California locations or visit us online at sammys.com. That's it for us here today, but I'd like to thank Shwayze for the collab and Nikon for lending us a beast of a camera, the Z9. I'll see you on the next one. So someone take a picture.